workload charts. If we take a look on our right hand side, uh, we can find workload charts right here. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And so what workload charts uh, is, is we can see what our workload is for the year, uh, for the month, or for the week. So I'll do this scenario of the number of months 12. Um, we can schedule the type for a calibration or a number of other schedule types that you may have in your system. You can also um, chart the charge type. And then if we come over here to the chart by, we can go by the count or we can go by charges. And then down here we have the chart type, which is going to be a number of different options. We have an area, a bar chart, a column chart, line, and pie. So we come over here to select, which is going to launch our equipment finder. Within equipment finder, we can come in here and just create a statement that's going to grab a lot of uh, material. So I'm going to just put is not exactly blank uh, or is not blank or empty. And if I hit my stopwatch here, I have over 9,000 records that we can take a look at. So once you figure out what the filter you would like to create, we just hit this down blue arrow. And that will select all of this equipment. And then I can just simply say add. And this is all of the content that we are going to be charting. So once I go from grid to click on chart, I can now easily see um, uh, the next month's um, throughout the year that I have scheduled work. So we can see uh, how many items I have for July, August, October, etc. And what you can do is you can easily look through each month and say, all right, August is looking really busy. So I think I should either push um, the schedule forwards for some of this equipment or I can dial it back. Um, and you can really just see, uh, you know, um, if you need to hire more employees or scale back or, or um, whatever you would like to do. But there you have it, workload charts.